I'm Anil Kumar and in this series of videos I have taken about 10-15 questions to review vectors. The question here is ABCD is a parallelogram with A minus 1 2 1, B 2 0 minus 1 and D 3 1 4. Use vector methods to find vertex C. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now whenever you solve questions based on vectors, if you can, try to visualize the situation, right? So let me show you how we can place this parallelogram in space, right? So let's say this is our coordinate system. So in these solutions, I'll actually teach you the concepts also. That's the whole idea, right? <clears throat> okay, so that is the space in which we have parallelogram A, B, C, D, right? So let me sketch one parallelogram here. So let's say this is the parallelogram somewhere in this space, right? So, so that's the parallelogram A, B, C, D, okay? So this is, let's say, A, this is B, C, and D. Write these numbers in an order, right? You could do them clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. All are same, right? <clears throat> so, but they should be in order, okay? So in this space, we have our parallelogram A, B, C, D. Coordinates of A, B, and D are given to us. We need to find what C is, right? So how do we find C? Well, basically look into position vectors to find the position of C, right? So we are actually looking into position vectors. So uh, O, C, this is the original O. O to C is what? O, C will be equals to O, D, D, C plus D, C, right? So, well, uh, like this. From O, we can go to D, right? and then DC. That is OC. Do you see that? That is OC. Correct? So OC is combination of sum of vectors OD and DC. We need to find C so we don't know what DC is. But here we have AB which is parallel. It's a parallelogram, right? And same magnitude, right? So it's parallel and same magnitude. So what we know is that AB is equals to DC, right? So since we know that AB is equals to DC, we can write OC as equals to OD plus AB, right? So, so we are good, I think, as far as this is concerned. So OC could be written as OD and AB combination. Now let's see what is OD and what is AB. So let's calculate this. We'll do it on the right side. <coughs> OD. OD is the position vector of point D, which is given to us, which is 3, 1, 4, correct? And AB, AB will be A to B. So that means it is OB minus OA, right? So OB is... 2, 0, minus 1, and we have to take away OA, which is minus 1, 2, 1, correct? So that gives you 2 minus, minus that becomes plus 3, 0 minus 2 means minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2, right? So AB is 3 minus 2 minus 2. So we can substitute these values here. So we get OC as equals to OD, which is 3, 1, 4 plus AB, which is 3 minus 2 minus 2, right? So add them up. 3 and 3 is 6. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 4 minus 2 is plus 2, right? So plus 2. So therefore, position vector of C is 6 minus 1, 2. So what is the coordinate point? Just as we given here. So the point C can now be written as 6 minus 1, 2, right? So I hope all the steps are clear and kind of reviews what you have learned while doing vector geometry. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe to my videos and try to do at least 10 questions from this list. Thank you and all the best.